Now I remember the first day that I worked here, when I came home, I thought if I ever get to sit down again, I will be so happy because we, we were on our feet the whole eight hours. My waitress outfit smelled so bad that when I came in the door at home, my mother made me take it off out on the back porch so that it could, it could go into the washing machine. Virginia Benson celebrated her 90th birthday by returning to Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant the place she worked at a long time ago. I started in 1939. Chicken dinners were 50 cents. We worked for 50 cents an hour. If you didn't make your 50 cents an hour, the knots were not very happy about paying you the extra money. Benson said everyone worked hard, even Cordelia not. She was very sharp, but she was an extremely hard worker. She did all the chicken. I think she fried the stuff herself. She worked twice as hard as I think anybody in the place. Benson was working at the restaurant on that day of infamy in December 1941. I was here when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor and it was full that morning. I can't remember which of the Knott girls was working the cash register. I don't think it was Virginia, but it might have been Tony Knott. And she called all the waitresses over and told us to go and talk to our people at our tables to tell them that the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor. And that immediately a lot of people got up and left. I don't, I assume they paid for their dinners, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I remember there were a lot of people who were in the service here eating that day and they all left. They just got up and went back to their bases, I guess. After she graduated from Whittier College, Benson quit and became a teacher. You still eat chicken? I didn't for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while to get over that. It wasn't the chicken, it was the smell. Mark Eads reporting for OCregister.com.